What's going on guys? Me, David here, back for another shave. And today, I'm gonna go back to some of my old faith. Not a scent that I've used before, but you all know it as one of my absolute favorite scents. Favorite bases in the world. We got Ariana and Evans, Slash the Club, The Kingdom. This is Kaizen 2. Oh, such good stuff. Such, such good stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead, get this in right quick. And um, yeah, it is, a hot, it's hot in here. It is, it is flat out hot. Let me straighten this out. I apologize, let's see. I don't think that's actually straight. Fuck, let me see. Maybe, I don't fucking know. We're just gonna go ahead and run with it. Today I'm gonna be testing an edge uh, for one of my customers, viewers, the all the good thing, member of the community, Robert. I didn't ask him if it was okay to say his last name, so I'll just leave it as one of the homies, Robert. So I'm gonna go ahead, load this up. I got that Crave shaving with the executive now from, uh, what was it? Fuck, what, what, what is it? Whatever, you know, uh, executive now. Yeah, what well, fuck? I'm totally drawing a blank. I'm having a brain fart. Either way. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in. Who the fuck? I can't believe, I, I remember the damn name of the knot. Strike gold, strike gold shape, Jesus. I could not believe I couldn't remember that, but either way, it's been a long day. It's been a long day, been a hot day. Luckily, uh, each of the next like four days is gonna get progressively cooler. So supposedly by Saturday, it's gonna be 75. So really look forward to that. This weekend, we do have my sister's gender reveal. So we're gonna find out whether I'm gonna have a little niece or nephew. So I am excited about that. A lot goes into all this uh, baby stuff, man. I just, I never really realized. Especially these young kids, you know, my sister's 26. She's 26, 26. And of course my daughter is 24. Um, so they still wanna do all, all the, the celebratory stuff for all this. I don't know if maybe as uh, women get a little bit older, they're not into all that nonsense, but they have wanted the full on experience. And I was talking about this stuff with some of the homies today. And what happened to the days where it was just a baby shower and that was it. Just a baby shower. Baby shower and it was women only. It wasn't men all in it and stuff like that. I don't understand that. Like, I miss those days. My dad didn't have to go to baby showers when I was growing up. My mom would go to a baby shower. My dad would stay his ass home with me. If there was a baby shower at my house, um, my mother would fucking, I mean, my dad would go out with his friends or go to a bar or go do whatever the fuck, get the fuck out the house. And I'd stay my happy little ass in the room. You would think that he'd take me out somewhere, maybe go to the zoo or something, but no, no, he wasn't going to do all that. And now, not only do we have this extra fucking party that costs money, the gender reveal, but then we do have, still have the baby shower and now men have to go. Why? It, it, it's, it's just this uh, blurring of the gender lines, man. Ugh. It's, just, I, it, it's okay, guys, men and women. It is okay for you to have your own separate shit. You guys don't have to do everything together. But no, here we are. I'm over here fucking having to take part in gender reveals. And it's cool. It's nice to see. Vanessa at her gender reveal was just happy, dude, all eyes on her. We're having a, a girl, she's having a girl, by the way. My, uh, my I don't know, step-granddaughter? -grandma, gr I'm gonna be the primary granddad in her life, so uh, it's gonna be named Amaya. So super excited about that, uh, which is cool, but I would've got just as excited if we would've just went to dinner together and just opened up the fucking envelope together. But it has to be this big spectacle now. So let's check it out. First shave on the edge for the homie Robert. Oh. oh yeah. This this edge is good. It feels like butter. So as with anything, it doesn't guarantee just because I like the edge, it doesn't guarantee the robber's gonna like it. Hopefully he does. Uh we shall see though. I, I don't know. Like immediately, I put it to my face, so I'm like buttery smooth and it's getting through the hair easily. 
but being that he has different hair growth than me, different hair, uh, growth patterns, you just never really know how an edge is going to react to your face until you actually use it, man. So hopefully he enjoys this, but I'm telling you, I like the feel of this right now. This is a solid edge, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's just a real bummer. It just seems like we everybody has to do everything together now. It's like, it doesn't have to be that way. Fuck. And again, I bitch now. But of course, once I'm there, my sister's having a good time. She gets excited once we do the whole... I don't even know how the fuck we're revealing the goddamn uh, gender. But it'll all be worth it. But it's just like... Dude, don't want them to do anything by themselves no more. Drop the hands a little bit. Whew. Super exciting this uh, weekend till Friday, 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 Friday. Um, Friday we have the Marist Cups game. Uh, Norwalk football against John Glenn. Super excited about there. Uh, after Norwalk having it for about 15 years straight, Glenn has now had it for about the last three, I think. Three, maybe even four. So, this is the time where Norwalk is going to bring it back home, and I predict that they will. Again, you still got to play the game, so you just never know. But I've seen both teams, and I like what Norwalk uh, has going on, man. Really, really good athletes all over the field. Physical, which is always nice. It's really unnatural. It's not a natural thing to be running full speed into another human being. So, you know, getting people comfortable with contact is one of the more difficult things if it's something that they can't just do naturally. There's some guys, they get it like this. They're out there and they're just fucking crave maniacs and they just hit everything. Those guys are a little few and far between by my experience. Um, so getting comfortable doing something is just very unnatural. You're walking, you're running, you're driving, you see something in your way, you usually kind of get out the way. You don't just barrel into it, so. So even though the process of getting them comfortable with contact can be a little tedious, a little frustrating, if you're a reasonable individual, you get it. Because who the fuck walks away? If you're just randomly just running into shit, you're fucking stupid. You're not supposed to be doing that, so. Doing this is what a, what a purpose. And even then, there's a lot of people that think this is stupid too. And that's okay. Not everybody has to like what we're doing. Mm, yeah, I got a little pimple right here. I, I nicked it off. So much like when CDB says, oh, we got a little blemish or something, we won't count that. Yeah, I had a little pimple right there, and I got it, so. That's bleeding a little bit. That's okay. For me, that just tells me this is a fucking sharp-ass edge, which is cool. It, it chopped that shit off, and I didn't feel it. At all. Not, not even a wince from it, so it just barreled over whatever the fuck. Just generally speaking, though, I should probably stop talking while I'm shaving my neck. It's a real, real bad habit. YouTube is dangerous for that shit. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the third and final path. You guys know which one it is. 
view across the green. Very, very nice. I really, really love this, uh, the Kingdom. I don't remember the stem profile because I've actually had this sitting around for probably a couple months now. I, I, I ordered it right when it released and I just haven't used it. It gets kind of stuck behind stuff. I really, really like the scent though. It released along with the like the re-release of Pedro Fiasco, which I asked Peter which one he preferred, and he's like, I think the Kingdom is a better all-around scent. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go with that one then. And it doesn't disappoint at all. This is definitely gonna be a keeper. Man, that across the green pads, dude, when an edge is smooth, it just, there's nothing better. This is It is the single most satisfying thing in all of shaving for me. Just like that across the green pads, what a beautiful edge. Ah, damn. I, I'm going to be heartbroken if, if Robert doesn't like this edge. I really, really do. Like, it's just, it's super sharp. super comfortable so I, I don't know to this day even though i've already sent out a lot of edges um it still makes me a little bit nervous and uncomfortable because again even though i tell myself hey you're not gonna be able to make everybody happy you still want to make everybody happy with, with something that you're producing my day-to-day -day life if i say something that bothers you i usually don't give a shit but in terms of something that i'm putting work in and I really want it to be enjoyed. Um, yeah, that's definitely some added pressure. That's a pretty good situation right there. Went around getting that goatee lined up the way I want it. I will get one more shave in the day of the party. Well, you don't want to be fresh, but doesn't mean I can't have the goatee lined up appropriately. Makes it for a quicker situation. Luckily, I'm not cooking during this one because that one, the last uh, gender reveal cooking for it, it kicked my ass, dude. And this one, my sister has even more people going than my daughter did, so. Yeah, so, I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off. You won't get into the final thought. This was a fast shave. It just flew by, dude, with that razor. Killer, killer. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Let's go ahead and get a nice little pat dry over here with the Lancaster towel. <sighs> very, very nice. That was all around good experience. And of course, we're going to go ahead and go with the matching aftershave, the Kingdom. Get a nice little heapy helping of it. All right, might went a little nuts on that for no good reason. Hmm. Hmm. There's something in the aftershave. Well, it's probably in the soap too. Uh, something for whatever reason, I've been noticing differences between soap and aftershave uh, much more uh, lately. I don't know why that is. I don't know, maybe my 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 nose got a, had a growth spurt. I don't know what the fuck you call it, but just something recent, it's real recent. I've been noticing differences and nuances that are in the aftershave and not in the soap, not, that are in the soap and not in the aftershave, which is kind of cool because they're obviously the same scent. You could tell that they're trying to be the same scent, but you can tell the differences in the medium, which is 
kind of cool. Like, I never really tried it. I remember, I'm not some scent aficionado. I never pretend to be. But it doesn't mean that you can't start to develop certain skills from years of doing this stuff. And it's something very recent that I'm discovering that I'm noticing these differences now that I wasn't doing maybe shit even six months ago. So I don't know why that is. Fuck, maybe just getting older. Maybe my eyesight's getting worse. My nose is getting better. Yeah, that might be the situation, but really nice. There's something in here that almost gives it a, like a gourmandy feel without being sweet. I don't know. I got to go look at the scent notes to see what might that be. Really, really nice scent, though. Really enjoy it. Peter, you fucking kicked ass with this scent. Um, that's really, really good. The Strike Gold Shave Executive Knot in a Craving Shaving Faux Burl handle thank you cdb this was a gift from cdb um appreciate that dog and robert this razor is coming home to you man um i hope you enjoy that i really like that fucking edge that edge is about as good as i think i've ever done it is super sharp with you know i cut that fucking shit off my neck and um super smooth that's buttery so <sighs> god help you if you don't like that edge, because, man, you must have a tough beard. I hope it is. I, again, I really hope it, man. But just thank you for trusting me with it. Um, I really do appreciate it, man. I really take pride in the work that I do. And I really, it's a real sign of respect if you're going to trust me with your stuff. Even if it's just simple as a gold dog, the fact that you would pay me money uh, to provide you with this service, um, it really is an honor. So just thank you so much. And if you made it to this point of the video, guys, you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, man, we're keeping the train running. It's just, we're going to keep going with this. I'm having fun. YouTube has really became a part of my, of my ritual. And so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And hopefully you guys will continue to come with me, man. But with that being said, I'm out of, I'm out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.